Today's episode of How to Cop is something that's I never thought I'd be doing the How to Cop for. It's on things that's basic essentials for our lives that we need daily. But because of what's happening in this world right now with the coronavirus, they, these things are a must have for any house, not for a sneaker collection. This is serious. So today on How to Cop, I'm going to be telling you guys some different pointers, some different tips on how you can cop sanitizer, paper towels, stuff like that, even though they're saying st stores are sold out. Stay tuned. Dedication is the means If they fresh out the box Then you gotta keep them clean There's that knowledge in your walk When you step on the scene Technology Ain't no apology Don't make it hard Man, it ain't trigonometry You gotta be smart When you shop Are you looking for authentic? If you are, then stop Cause you probably will regret it This ain't no synthetic No synthetic If they ready, we'll let you know If you should go and Alright you guys First and foremost I appreciate you guys tuning in To another video If this is your first time on my page Make sure you click that subscribe button hit the notification bell do all that good stuff um i do this how to cop video usually i do it on different ways on how to purchase a sneaker i tell people the, um what are my thoughts about the shoe um different places you can cop the shoe and then the stock x resale value of the shoe today video is going to be a little bit different we're going to be talking about not sneakers but the everyday essentials that we need during a time of a crisis a pandemic a situation that's going on with the coronavirus right now now this video is not a guarantee that you will get any of those products. I'm not saying that. This is just um, kind of some advice, some tips, some pointers. As always, I never guarantee that anybody's going to get a shoe. But that hopefully will help you guys um, be able to get maybe one or two or some of these items that, that seem to be out of stock everywhere you go. Just to let you guys know, I am a manager of a Walgreens in the Florida area. So uh, I am a part of this retail, a part of this retail chaos that's going on right now. So um, I'm not coming at you guys from just being a customer perspective. I'm actually going to be coming from you, coming to you guys with some care concern because you know what? Um, just like I want to help people rock what they like, not what's hype. I want to help people get these things to keep them safe and protect them for what's going on right now because we don't know what the future holds and what lies ahead. So let's hop right off into it. All right. So. I have a couple of things here at my house that uh, I'm going to point out that I'm going to kind of kind of help you guys get. And these are the things I'm not going to tell you where to get exact of each of these things. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the things kind of what they're saying is the basic things that you need. And then I'm going to tell you to tell you what to do to actually try to be successful at getting some of these things. So paper towels. Um, not sure why paper towels have been huge, but they've been selling out at my location. I see them selling out everywhere. Toilet tissue. Toilet tissue has been a hot commodity. Um, we've seen all the memes, memes and stuff like that. As you can see on the screen of people making fun of this. Not sure why, but you know, just to let you guys know, if we do get quarantined and we're stuck in our location, as long as you have running water and a shower, you can always, and you know, this might sound disgusting to some of you guys, but you can always, you know what, do what you got to do in the pot. Hop in some water, wash yourself if we run out of toilet tissue. So don't let this be the end all be all. I know a lot of people are fighting over this, but I mean, it's toilet tissue. Lysol, different Lysol products. Sprayers, cleaner to clean up, to make sure that we're killing germs and stuff like that. These um, are some things that a lot of, that sold out in my store stat, like right away. Um, and you know, it's kind of tough for me seeing you know four or five people get all of the items especially when it first started but most companies have start they, they've started to set limits one per customer two per customer three or four i haven't seen anything more than four per customer per each one of these items so if you're gonna buy if you're gonna buy this um a paper good item or even the next thing would be some hand sanitizer. If you're gonna buy any of these things, it's been one of those things where they've been setting limits of two each item so all customers can have an opportunity to protect themselves and be safe. Which the next two things is gonna be your uh, hand soap and your hand sanitizer. Hand, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. I guess that's the stuff that you make. But these two things are pretty much wiped out everywhere you go. Everybody's trying to find them. Um, um, all of the rubbing alcohol, the aloe vera gel, everything that you need to make hand sanitizer, people have um, pretty much bought. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm going to try to help you guys get today. And also mask. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what you need the mask for. But as long as you're washing your hands with the soap, 
As long as you wash your hands, drying them, not touching your, your eyes, mouth, or nose, or your face in general, you should be good. Or how do you get your hands on at least one or two of these items for yourself? Usually I tell the resale value, I'm not doing that, man. For everybody that's buying the stuff just to resell, if you're on this if you're on this video, please keep it moving. You can put the thumbs down on there. That's fine with me, but just keep it moving. This is what, not what it's about. It's about me giving the opportunity for everybody to be able to get this stuff. I was at my store the other day and I had an older gentleman that called me and he asked me, did we have anything in stock? He was in his um, early 80s. We did not. And unfortunately, I had to tell this gentleman that we did not. And a lot of it is due to the fact that a lot of people, they're overbuying the things that they need. So first things first, you have a Walgreens, you have a CVS, you have a Walmart, you have a Rite Aid, whatever the place may be, Target, Publix, Kroger's, Winn-Dixie, wherever the place that, that, that you're going to be going to buy these things, Big Lots, Dollar General, Dollar Store, all these places, communication. That's number one. Communication is how you're going to get your hands on some of these items. Every one of these places that I just mentioned and every retail chain will still be receiving warehouse deliveries. What that mean is they will still be receiving um, deliveries with merchandise on it every single week. Some of these stores may be twice a week. Be vocal with the leadership staff that's there. Ask them, hey, when will your delivery be? When would you, when, or when you will be receiving more? When are they expecting more? Some people will be honest. Some people will not. But ask those questions. Make a timeline. Make a schedule. If you really want to get this stuff and say, hey, on Thursday, Target, Walgreens, CVS, they're going to be getting a truck. They're all in line. Maybe I can hit each one of them up and get lucky. Hopefully some of this product come in on truck. Because I'm going to be honest with you, warehouses are out. Um, the resources are being de depleted. So when you're walking into these places, nine times out of 10, it's true that these items are out of stock, that we're not receiving them on the warehouse truck. Because like I said, all companies have a system in place right now to help us make sure that we are distributing this stuff evenly to all patients and all customers for, for it to be fair and for everybody to have an opportunity to protect themselves. So number two, the biggest thing is, is to only get what you feel like you need. If you have a family, if, if you are a one person household, why do you need 15 things of hand sanitizer? That's, that's number two. Number two, the way that you can help this is only get what you need. If you have paper towel already stored up and you don't need any more, then don't go buy any more. Allow other people to have an opportunity to get these things. Um, that's the only way other people are going to have opportunity to cop this stuff or purchase this stuff is if we, we're allowing it to stay on the shelves long enough. The third most important one, if you have any resources or extra things that you can maybe give to your neighbor, donate to your neighbor, or if you do want to sell it, sell it at the retail price. Stop with these Facebook posts, offer up posts, and all this stuff where hand sanitizer is 40, 50 bucks. Like, like what, what, what is the world coming to where we feel like that? But those three things are my biggest, the biggest advice I can get you, give you. Go talk to all these places. Find out when their deliveries are. Until they shut these stores down, they're gonna be receiving deliveries. Find out when they are. Be courteous to 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 those stores and to everybody else by only only purchasing what you need. Follow the limit guidelines that these stores are setting. And then number three, if you have an abundance of these things, offload them and help somebody else out, man. Help somebody else out. Give to those people, or sell it for at least retail. You know what I'm saying? Or give them a bobo deal. Let's let's be let's be nice to to, to each other during this time, during this um during this pandemic that we're going on, going in right now. Thoughts and prayers to everybody that's been affected by the coronavirus. Um, I hope this video is informative. I appreciate you guys tuning in. It's your boy Truth. Rock what you like, not what's hype. I'll see y'all in the next video. God bless. Them hard, I should cop me a pair. Jordan ain't the only one that's an air. As I'm walking upstairs, I prefer that you follow me up there. But you still gotta know what you wear. I'm so glad.